black holes are whirlpools of the universe. Like a whirlpool in water. We'll suck anything underneath the surface and eventually the whirlpool will dissipate and whatever was sucked under the surface will be set somewhere by the undercurrent reappear up above the surface eventually most likely. Sometimes it'll brew under the surface until time when it comes to the surface I guess. It's up to the universe really. But if it wants to reappear it can. And it can reappear anywhere man because the water's not all the water but a lot of the water is connected in the planet and the world and then in the universe this fabric this surface fabric that we see when you go underneath that it's connected to all of the universe. It probably can't appear where there's already mass. It'd be like something coming out of the water in the land. It wouldn't make any sense, but it can come out where there's not mass. It's too mass. Because Matt, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Um, well, I guess if that's exactly what it is, I should stop the recording now and listen to what the fuck I just said. So expanding on this metaphor that the space, the non-mattered aspect of space is like water, is like the world's oceans, and the matter would be like land structures. So to think of traveling through the universe at light speed or hyperspace, you would actually be penetrating the Higgs field, the Higgs, uh, the boson is the particle that creates the field, there's lots of them you would be putting your hand through the surface of the water under the surface of the Higgs field into the depths of reality into the depths of space but not depths like far but like the depths of reality not the depths of space the depths of reality putting your hand through the field under the surface of reality and then once you've penetrated the surface of reality I think by Okay, I'll, first I'll explain what I think will happen when you penetrate the surface of reality, then I'll explain how to penetrate the surface of reality. What I think will happen is you'll enter the undercurrent of the universe, and you can travel that fast. You can essentially, w w time ceases when, you've experienced, when you're in that place. You're, it's a formation. It's no longer matter as we know it. But we can travel and reappear when we are familiar with what we are. We can communicate it with machines, with the technology, and pop to a new place of reality where there's no matter. And I'm thinking that the matter in the universe will act as barriers of travel. Maybe. So, unless we can go under the matter, it's as if, if but see, the way the world is built, you can't go under the United States you got to go around it, even if you're underwater. So I'm thinking the universe is similar. Maybe you can travel past the ma- Okay, and it's not instant. It takes time still, but the time is greatly reduced because you're traveling with this current. As current. Light speed. That's what happens when you penetrate the boat, the field. You move at light speed. <laughs> okay. So that's what I believe that happens. That's what, like, a wormhole. You enter the field, and you reappear from the field. Black holes and white holes are naturally occurring instances of this. Uh, vortexes and geysers or You know, the universe spits itself back out. It sucks itself in and spits itself back out. Now, uh, okay... Uh, I'm going to watch this. I, I'm beginning all edgy right now because I'm thinking about how to penetrate the Higgs field. There's a way. I noticed twice I said penetrate the Higgs boson. Something about penetrating the boson itself. The Hydron Collider is going to show us the boson. The Higgs boson. And then, once we study it, know it, get to know the boson, the Higgs boson, we can put it together, like a bunch of, once we study the electron, we can manipulate the electron and set it into things and do things with it, create electron fields and electromagnets and things. When we get familiar with the Higgs boson, we'll be able to create a Higgs field and we'll be able to pass through it. And that's what a stargate is.